An, an interesting question is like, what do you think is going to be the best and what do you think is going to be the worst? Well, the, the two best ones will be either Apple or um, Tidal. So probably Apple. We did a comparison before and it wasn't quite as extensive as this. And I think the Apple Music came out surprisingly ahead on some tracks. Probably Apple Music will be the best or Tidal, yeah, probably close. My understanding is that Spotify is not particularly renowned for having a lot of losses content. So probably the worst, but depends on the content to some extent, I suppose. All right, so this is Nils Lofgren, Sticks and Stones. It's not as detailed as I'm used to off the CD, but it's pretty good. A little less sense of space. Pretty much sounds like what I'm used to, I'd say. Okay. Hard to say without hearing anything else, but yeah. It doesn't sound bad or amazing. It sounds what I would expect, really. So this is Sarah McLaughlin, Angel. It's kind of the same. Just has uh, more of a muted resolution. This sounds highly compressed. Now, I'm not particularly familiar with this track, but if I had a guess, this is probably Spotify. It sounds pretty severely different than what I'm used to. It's honestly shockingly bad. So really? okay. I, I don't know what this is, that's, that's but it's bad. Okay. Okay. I wouldn't say bottom of the list, but it's probably like in the middle, I'd say three. So I don't know what service this is. And I'm not particularly familiar with these MQA problems that the kids complain about, but this is either some sort of MP3 or MQA, or there's something wrong with my years of the setup or something. Yeah, this has a lot more information. It's, um, it's sticks and stones, whatever we're listening to. Yeah, this immediately sounds different. Mm -hmm. It's like more spacious, I'd okay. say. Not much a difference from this one to the first one. It sounds a little smoother and softer, especially in the bass. Um, slightly less muffled in the vocals, but very similar. It's like normal, I guess. It sounds like a streaming service. That sounds pretty good. It sounds like a low quality mastered lossless. Okay. It's really sharp, but it doesn't sound compressed. I'd say, yeah, overall this one is a little more like wider, a little, okay. sounds a little like more open, I'd say. It really seems very track dependent. like. It's not consistently the same change. Yeah, no, I don't know this one. This one this one seemed better at the beginning, so I'm gonna put it near the top. Okay. But I gotta reference it to everything else. Now. Am I supposed to guess what streaming service this is? You don't have to, I mean, you can. This is Cobuzz. Um, yeah, the, the vocals sound a little more like nasal on this, a little flatter. It's like a DSP effect. Is this Atmos or something? It's really weird. There's like a strobing echo. Yeah, I mean, that one's, uh, it depends on the track, it's weird, but I'm gonna put it down in fourth place. This definitely sounds compressed. L less dynamic range. I don't understand why there's such a severe difference. It doesn't really make any sense. Because yeah. I've never done this, mm -hmm. but this sounds way different than I would have expected. Yeah, especially on the last one, yeah, it's like, the vocals have like less like life to them. If I had to guess, this is Apple Music. Okay. But I don't know, this one sounds great too. Okay, this sounds good. Sounds like a lot of information in this one. I like it. Yeah, it's like really thin sounding vocals on this. It's different again. Piano sounds good on this. Good sense of space in her voice. Yeah, it's like softer on the, on the impact. This sounds bad. I assume this is what Linkin Park sounds like though. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming this is either Tidal or Apple, but I'd put this at the top right now. Out of the available options, this is the smoothest sounding, so it's possible this is compressed. If I had to guess, this is, I think I already said it, so it's Spotify. I don't really know what bitrate the other stuff streams at, but to me, this most likely sounds like whatever the worst quality streaming service is. The, the, the little information, this is muted, so. Yeah, this one's got a bigger and more expansive kind of soundstage sound to it. Yeah, it's a little more laid back sounding and um, then doesn't have quite the space and the clicks and ticks aren't sharp. This is definitely the best version of this yet. Not to say it's good, but out of the other ones, maybe the most, well, least offensive, maybe the best yet. Not good though. We'll just call it Linkin Park is apparently not the best sounding reference because this one sounds fine. If I had to guess, this is Amazon Music. First place, you put title. Okay. 
Second place, you put Cobas. Okay. Third is Apple Music. Okay. Fourth is Spotify. Fifth is Amazon. Okay. Is that pretty? Is yeah, that it sounds you, about right. You expected? Yeah. Okay. I could see Cobas and uh, Apple getting being, being similar. So your first like picks, so like what you like ranked similarly, yeah. were Apple Music and Amazon. Mm. And then the next tier would be Cobas and Title, mm-hmm. and then last is Spotify. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty much what you expect. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I usually listen to Apple Music, so I'm used to it, I guess, probably. So yeah. After doing it, I would have picked different songs. I think. That. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think so. Title is your first one. Amazon Music is your second. Okay. Apple Music is your third. Uh, Spotify is your fourth, and then Cubas as the worst one. Huh. Yeah. Do they all have different formats they stream or something? I think so, yeah. Because they sound slightly different, but I've never actually listened to um, Amazon. I've I've listened to it in the shop, but I've never listened to, like, sit down and listen to it. But I guess it's also lost us now, I think, too, so. I figured I'd pick out Tidal because that's what I listen to all the time. Yeah. So it's quite noticeable, actually. When you go to Tidal, it's like, bam! (laughs) (laughs) Tidal, um, it's sort of the one I'm most familiar with. Mm-hmm. So maybe that makes sense. I would prefer it. Yeah. Um, I listen to Apple Music in the car and Title at home, mm-hmm. but um, they sound different for sure. Yeah, interesting. 